Hi, welcome to the Center Maths video series on the basics of number theory. In this video, we're going to be going over the Chinese remainder theorem. And that says, let m1, m2, all the way through mr be pairwise relatively prime positive integers. Then this system of congruences has a unique solution modulo big M, which is equal to the product of all the little m's. And the best way to understand the Chinese remainder theorem is to go through examples which is what we're going to do. So since 3, 5, and 7 are all relatively prime, we can use the Chinese remainder theorem to solve this system of linear congruences. Uh, in this case, we have 3 is little m1, 5 is little m2, and 7 is little m3. And then 2, 3, and 2, it's a1, a2, and a3. First thing we're going to do is multiply 3 times 5 times 7, and that's equal to our big M. So our large M is 105, and then to find big M1, big M2, and big M3, we take m105 and divide it by the small m's. So we have 105 divided by 3 is 35, m2 is, 25, is 21, and m3 is 15. And the Chinese remainder there says that there exist integers y1, y2, and y3 that when multiplied by each respective big M is congruent to 1 modulo m. So we have 31 times y1 is congruent to 1 mod 3, 21y2 congruent to 1, mod 5, and then 15y3 is congruent to 1, mod 7. Now we just have to solve these congruences for the y's. These numbers are small enough where we can just, they're pretty straightforward. So 35, uh, the, 33 is a multiple of 3, so we can, 35, there's a remainder of 2 when divided by 3, so we have 2y1 is congruent to 1, mod 3, and we can see that y1 This can grow into 2 because 2 times 2 is 4, minus 1 is 3. That's a multiple of 3. And then for y2, 21, um, when it's divided by 5, there's a remainder of 1. So we have y2. And you can always check these. So 21, when y2 is 1, you have 21 is congruent to 1, and 21 minus 1 is 20, and that's a multiple of 5, so that works. And then for y3, 15 divided by 7, that leaves a remainder of 1. We have y3. We have <clears throat> so now we found y1, y2, and y3, and our last step is... So now we, have, we know that x is congruent to a1, big M1, y1, plus a2, big M2, y2, plus a3, m3, y3, all mod big M. And we already know all these values, a1, a2, a3. We found big M1, big M2, and big M3, and we solved for M1, for y2. We solved for all the y's. So we'll plug these all in. So once we plug in our values and reduce, we're left with x is congruent to 233 mod 105. 210 is a multiple of 105, and that's a remainder of 23. So we're left with x is congruent to 23 and x equals 23 is our answer to this.
system of linear congruences. And that's the Chinese remainder theorem. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, be sure to check out our other videos in the Basics of Number Theory series. Check out our blog, check out centerofmath.org, and follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Thank you.